Hi friends, in my last video, I have explained you about heights and distances chapter. You have learned what is elevation, what is depression and what is angle of elevation, what is angle of depression, you have learned. You will well understand with these examples. Today I am going to explain you two problems, one very simple one. Second one, little more complicated one. Before going through, let me tell you children, read the question properly. Particularly this heights and distance chapter, if you are able to draw the figure correctly, it will be very easy for you to solve the problem. Okay, as for the question, as for the given instruction, draw the figure. You will see, it will be like, 6th class maths after drawing the figure but first thing you should be very careful in drawing the figure now let us start your question 1 is from a point P on level ground the angle of elevation of the top of a tower is 30 degree if the tower is 100 meters high how far is P from the foot of the tower very simple question I gave you let me solve question Question 1 solution. From a point P on level ground. This is a level ground. Let us think this is P. From a point P on a level ground. The angle of elevation. I said elevation means up. Angle of elevation of the top of a tower. Here tower is there. Okay. Top of the tower is this. So the angle of elevation. From point P to the top of the tower is 30 degree. Join this and this is 30 degree. I think you are clear. Let us take AB as the tower. P is the point of observation. And angle APB is angle of elevation. If the tower is 100 meters high, AB is 100 meters. How far is P? From the foot of the tower. P is. A, B, B is the foot of the tower. So how far is P from B. From the foot of the tower. From B. That you have to find out. So statements. A, B is the height of the tower. Actually first one I am doing like this. Height of the tower. It is already given. 100 meters. Yes or no? Angle A, B, B is a angle of elevation angle of elevation that is 30 degree okay then height of the tower given APB is given you have to find BP that is P from the foot of the tower distance of P from the foot of the tower foot of the tower that we have to find out okay now you see children what is the relation between this angle ab angle is this angle is not to us ab is not to us bp we have to find out so what is the relationship between this angle ab and bp so you know that trigonometric ratios already you have learned and already i told you we have to use trigonometry in measuring, in finding the distances. You know that tan 30 degree equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Tan 30 degree equal to AB by BP. So, let us find tan 30 degree equal to AB by BP. Value of tan 30 is 1 by root 3. In trigonometric ratios of standard angles, you have learned that tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3. And AB value is given as 100 meters that by BP. That implies BP is equal to 100 into root 3 meter. You know the value of root 3 is 1.732. The value of root 2 is 1.414. And the value of root 3 is 1.732. 732 that implies BP is equal to a decimal number 
multiplied by 100 means the decimal will go two places towards right. So the decimal will go this, that is 173.2 meter. That is what is required to us. Children, don't forget to write the last statement. That is, our P is 173.2 meter. P is 173.2 meter from the foot of the tower. From the foot of the tower. Always children, as for the question, you write the answer and don't forget to write the units. Last statement for the problems and the units are very very important. I believe you understood. Very simple question this one. I explained you. Now let us move to next one. Shall I rub this? Okay. Your second question is. The angle of elevation of the top of a hill. Second one. The angle of elevation of the top of a hill at the foot of a tower. That means. If this is the tower, this is the hill, the angle of elevation of the top of a hill at the foot of a tower, from the foot of the tower, from the foot of the tower to top of the hill. Elevation means always angle between the horizontal line and the line of sight. Here if AB is the tower, CD is the hill, angle CBD is the angle of elevation, this is 60 degree. And the angle of depression from the top of the tower, from here, depression angle, you have to draw the horizontal line always, of the foot of the hill, from here to here, foot of the hill, this is 30 degree. So this angle is 30 degree, don't confuse. This is a horizontal line from the top of the tower and from the top of the tower to bottom of the hill means this is a line of sight. This angle is 30 degree. If this is 30 degree, automatically this angle is 30 degree because they are interior alternate angles. If the tower is 50 meter high, AB is the tower. If this tower is 50 meter high, Find the height of the hill. So here, AB, height of tower, given as, height of tower, given to us as, 50 meter. And CD is the height of the hill. We have to find out, height of hill, we have to find out. Let me name it as X, and XAD, is equal to angle ADB that is equal to 30 degree. Then angle CBD is equal to 60 degree. This is what are given. We have to find the height of the hill. Okay. Let us work out. First let us add this is AB is given to us. Let us see from this triangle ABD. This angle is known to us. AB is known to us. Let us find BD. Just like previous question. So, tan 30 degree equal to, you can write in triangle ABD. Tan 30 equal to AB by BD. That implies tan 30 is 1 by root 3. AB is 50 meter by BD. That implies BD is equal to 50 root 3 meter. And children, now you don't want BD, you want CD, the height of the hill. So please don't convert this to decimal form. Keep as it is. It will be easy for you. Once you convert to decimal form only, you will have a problem again. Because BD is not asked to us. We have to find out CD. Okay? So from this triangle, we got BD is 50 root 3 meters. Now you see, in triangle CBD, in triangle CBD, what happens? Tan 60 degree equal to CD by BD. 
tan 60 degree value is root 3. From trigonometric standard angles you know. CD we don't know. BD is 50 root 3. So if you cross multiply. You will get CD equal to 50 root 3 into root 3. That implies CD is equal to root 3 root 3 3. 50 3 is a 150 meter. And CD height of the hill we have to find out that we found out. Therefore the height of the hill is. The question is find the height of the hill. Therefore the height of the hill is 150 meters. I believe you understood. Like this practice children. As per the question, as per the given instructions, try to draw the figures properly first. Surely, very easily, you will be able to solve the problems. Okay? If you like my video, don't forget to like the video. And if you have not subs uh, subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe. Thank you.